Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Missy with Priority of Pros and today I am giving you my June book haul. Um, let's start here. So this was my last um, order from Book of the Month. Um, between them changing to no longer have Book of the Month YA and then some really controversial and uneducated things that they said during the last few weeks on Twitter, some made me stop using their product, but I did get two books before any of that happened. Luckily, I was able to grab two books, use up my credits, and then be done with their program. So the first one I got was Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I really liked Locked Every Door. The ending was maybe not 100% my favorite, but I still enjoyed it. And I am excited to read this one. I've heard it's kind of haunted houses, haunted house-ish. That's really hard to say. So I'm very excited to get to this one soon. The next one I got was The Vanishing Half. From what I understand, there's two sisters, uh, twin sisters, and they move to different places and they have very li different lives and also different like racial identities, even though they are twin sisters um, because of the culture and where they're living. So I'm very interested to read this. I think it'll be very educational. Really trying to diversify my reading and read outside of my bubble, read outside of a traditional white female because that's what I am. And so I need to know and want to know and, and am urged to know more about others that are not exactly the same as me. Uh, I did get uh, Thomas Wilde and the Wizard of Samaria and Thomas Wilde and the Book of Sorrows from the publisher. These are both middle grade fantasies, so very excited to read these. One of them is first and one is second and I'm horrible, but I don't really know. Let's see. We can figure this out. Okay, this is the first book in the series and this is the second. So definitely excited to pick these up. I've been really um, enjoying a lot more physical books or audiobooks lately. So I'm glad to have these as a physical copy rather than an e-arc. Uh, the next one I bought was Little Fires Everywhere. I know, you know, like I've heard amazing things about the show, but I tend to want to read the book before I watch the movie or TV show. So I'm excited about this one. I've heard amazing things about the author, about the Asian community and racism within this one. So very excited to read this. The next one I got was The Explorer. And this is the July pick for Middle Grade Monthly. Super excited to read this. This is just totally my jam. Like, lost in the woods, plane crashes, they don't know what's going on. Like, so up my alley. I don't even know, they like, are in the jungle. And I think it's just kids maybe. Use the honking, I don't know what that's about. Uh, the next one I got is for a new group uh, that one of the girls that I met through Olivia Reads the Lattes group is starting a fantasy reads. And so we are going to read through Nevernight for the month of July. Super excited to read this with a group. I'm pretty much planning on annotating it. I, I started it a tiny bit and just wasn't really in the right mood. So I'm excited to start it with that group. That group has been amazing and I'll link them below if you want to join us. Um, super, I want, like this one sounds up my alley so I just need to take a moment and like pay attention to it. And then finally, my new cup I got today. Uh, finally, the full nerd in me, I got the ultimate companion for Animal Crossing. This thing is a ginormous beast. But I love it, you can literally mark off like everything that you've gotten in every category and like oh it's just it's amazing it's totally unnecessary but if you are a huge nerd like me and are up to almost 400 hours in animal crossing or more totally recommend i think it'll be great i'm excited to like get the things down that i've seen in here it gives a rundown of like all of the characters all of the fish all of the seasons all of the clothes because I swear half of my storage is my wardrobe. But anyway, those are a quick rundown of my picks for June. I am excited for July. I think I have some great reads on the docket. I'm not really doing, I don't know, I haven't decided. Because there is the summer season-a-thon readathon. But I think I've done a readathon 
every month up until July and I haven't planned one for July and so I'm thinking I might just do a like choose your own reads kind of a thing and actually just read how I'm feeling instead of buy a readathon. These two are obviously in my goals for the month but the rest are I think I'm just gonna pick up as I'm feeling it. I am currently reading the Southern Book Club's I can never say this the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and loving it. Grady Hendrix's life seriously oh so good like I want to figure out how can this can be like a TV show or a movie or something but it's so good um, I'm probably two-thirds into it and definitely like had to go to bed last night and be like okay I need to put this down and go to sleep and it's probably gonna be another day like that or another night like that tonight so anyway I would love it if you guys join the Priory and subscribe below and I will see you in my next video